Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to install the Cisco CML free tier on VMware Workstation or Player. Okay, so the first step is to download the OVA and ISO files. And I have the link here uh, of the Cisco website. And I'm going to add these steps in the description of this video. I have the website open here. So the files that you need is the, this OVA file and this ISO file. Before you can download these files, you have to log in first. I already downloaded these files, so I just downloaded it uh, like this. So yeah, you have to log in, like I said, and this one also. And I have these files in the, in the desktop. Here, this is a zip file, so I had to unzip it and just, uh, I just need this file, the ISO file. Okay, so the second step is to import the OVA file into VMware Workstation. Okay, so I have the uh, VMware Workstation here opened. So I go to File, Open, and then just browse to, I mean, just, you know, browse the OVA file, which is this one. Okay, so I can name this uh, CML2 VM. And then I'm going to leave the storage path uh, as is import so it's now importing it okay the second step is so once imported uh, you can now configure the VM uh, settings so this is the VM that we just imported so now we can edit the settings okay so I'm gonna leave the memory as this because this is the minimum requirement and prior source, I'm gonna leave it as four as well. And this is the minimum requirement. And hard disk, I'm gonna leave this as is. And here, by the way, you need to make sure that this virtualize Intel, virtualize Intel VT dash X slash EPT or AMD blah, blah, blah is uh, ticked. And here as is 32 gig in here, you need to click connect at power on and then browse the ISO image file, which is uh, already in the desktop. So double click and then network adapter, choose NAT and display, uh, leave it as this and then click OK. And now you can go ahead and power on your virtual machine, CML2 virtual machine. Okay, just give it a minute. So as you can see, I already tested this um, and I was able to install this properly or successfully. Um, and now I'm just you know, creating a new VM to show you the process. So here we have, I mean, once you get to this prompt, you just click enter or continue. And then you have to, you can use the tab key to navigate between options. So you have to accept the terms and conditions or EULA, enter, and then just continue here and then continue. Okay, and then just continue. So I'm, I'm gonna choose the standalone all-in-one deployment, just continue. And by the way, if the enter is not working, you have to click inside the VM or this window, and then you can enter again. So here you can specify the name of your system's unique host name. So I'm just going to click continue. And then here, this is the account that you will use if you have to log into the VM via CLI. So I have to, I mean, I'm going to set my password, down arrow, password again, and then I'm going to just accept the password. Yes, it's not just strong. I'm going to continue anyway. And then here, this is the, the admin username is the one that you will use to log into the UI to the UI or to the uh, to CML itself. So here I'm gonna just type the password down arrow password again. So here I'm gonna choose the default which is THCP, and then you can confirm your configuration here. So deployment standalone all in one host name as this system username, sysadmin, and the password, platform ISO, CD-ROM attached, primary interface. Okay, I'm gonna confirm and then continue. So this will take about 10 minutes, so I might fast forward the video. 
So we know that this is done or complete when we get to the login page where we can log in the sysadmin account and we can see the IP address that we can you know, uh, use to log into the GUI section. Okay, the system is now configured. You need to point your browser to the IP address shown on this console when it's when this tool closes. Okay. Okay, now we can see the IP address. So access the CML UI from this IP address. So the IP address is 192.168.111.145. So I'm gonna go into Internet Explorer. So the IP address one was 192.168.111. 145. I'm going to just continue here. Username is admin and password. I type in the password. And here, this is the dashboard. And you can actually make this dark if you want. And now we can add, I'm just going to exit here. But this will just walk you through some of the new and changed features in uh, CML. I'm going to exit for now. And then here, I'm going to add, where's that add button here? We can now add IOL, which is the router looking at the icon and then switch and we can also um, add a connection or add a link create link and we can start these devices and then i can go into the console of the router and console of the switch so now we can issue the usual commands, Cisco commands that we know. Open console, enable, show IP interface brief, show version. Yeah, that's how you can uh, install the Cisco CML fleet here on VMware Workstation. So hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.